Hey everybody and welcome back. We're going to do yet another tiki toki socky doki jockey mocky sucky Yeah, TikTok video is what we're going to be doing today. TikTok video a little while ago reacting to like the piercing roulette. Now there's just like a billion other videos that will just emphasize the absolute stupidity of everyone. Let's just find some to emphasize what is wrong with you. Oh, it kind of looks like he's just got a needle hanging out of his face. Yuck. I don't know if that's like a 14 or a 12 gauge because that's like pretty thick and that's not the correct gauge. I love how it just sort of is like sitting like in his lip, like it's not even in the right spot. It's like sitting up like that. He's gone to go like push it through and it's just that's as far as you can get without it hurting because it's gonna hurt when you do it to yourself and especially when you're going that slow that it's just sitting there like no. Yeah, you got some gross butterfly backs there. You've got a candle popping it. Oh, and it's literally like a pin cushion pin. <laughs> what is that gonna do? So you, yeah, heating it up, shoving it through your ear, and then just the ear with no jewelry in it because that's gonna work because that's gonna stay open. Literally, you can pierce a ear with the proper piercing needle and. You can still take that needle out and it will close instantly. And yet this person's sitting there like, look, I have a new piercing, there's two holes here. It may look like there's a second hole, but it will not allow that jewelry to go in it now. What was the point in that? Like you pierced it for no reason? It's a joke. Oh, oh fucking piercing gun. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I told you that! <laughs> <laughs> I love when it doesn't work. Shit. Really, like <laughs> it's so good when it doesn't work. So, like she's like hit the phone with the piercing gun. It's pretty obvious it's not going to work. Like those piercing guns, they may have like a bit of force, but still to get it like properly all the way through, you literally need something sharper than just like an earring with a bit of a sharp end. So it's lovely when this stuff happens. <laughs> Okay, so yep, cool, you've got your alcohol and peroxide and your shitty, like, rusty fucking looking needle. <coughs> Yuck, what type of needle is that? Ice in the nose. It's just sitting halfway through. Everyone's loving doing the, like, let's try and pierce it. Oh, wait, no. Piercings hurt when you do them on yourself. Let's not. Even actual piercers rarely pierce themselves because it's just so much more precise when someone else does it for you because they're not concerned about the pain, they're just getting it done properly. It's literally such a waste of time when you try and do it on yourself. And this sort of thing happens where you're just like, oh, it, it, it's kind of in and now I have put myself through more pain than I would have if I just got it done properly. Yep, she's got a piercing kit and oh, you got your alcohol. What's it gonna be? What are you gonna do? Oh, you are going to absolutely ruin your navel. That jewelry sitting in there looks so, so bad. Clearly she's just pierced it and it looks purple. How? What, it, what has happened? This should not happen. Your piercing should never look purple. That's like, Seems like some sort of like blood poisoning or something that yeah bad don't don't do it So they're walking into Walmart free ear piercing yeah oh. Yeah, no wonder you have something on your head trying to cool you down You probably have like a fever people can literally end up in hospital from getting piercings done with a gun especially in your cartilage and she got two like right next to each other. 100% shattered cartilage. Like your ear should not be that red. She's at home and the ear's that red. Redness goes down like pretty quickly soon after. Didn't go as planned because you shouldn't be 
getting any piercings with a gun. That's just like the most irritating thing because like so many people don't know and there's so many companies out there that are doing gun piercings, especially on cartilage and it's actually terrifying. It's the worst. Hey, so I got a new makeover, what do you think? What's that, Jamie? You've become a very strange person. Oh! Do you like it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Take it off! Oh, oh. I don't know. You've become a very strange person. <laughs> this is my whole life story. To be honest, this is probably what like a lot of people think when they look at um, body modifications. Is just like, you've become a very strange person. Guess what? I was always extremely strained. Like, obviously, Asian parenting is very different and it can be very conservative. And I love that man. He is the greatest person and I'm going to say that to everyone from now on that you've become a very strange person. Getting out of the shower. Wonder what happens here. It's definitely the nose piercing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot even begin to explain. That is literally probably one of the most common things that you have to do for people. Put their nose jewelry back in for them. The amount of people who can't put their nose jewelry in, like whether it's healed or it hasn't healed, everyone rips their nose piercings out like 24 seven and no one seems to learn how to put them in themselves. I think if you have a nose piercing, you really should learn how to do it. Just the type of jewelry that a lot of nose piercing jewelry is, like some of it does come out really easily. The amount of people who will get their nose pierced and then come back two days later and they're like, oh, it came out. And it's like, well, it, it's not going back in. And also, does anyone listen? Like literally no one does, we know this, because you will tell them like, you need to become aware that you now have a piercing in your nose and if you like, like go too crazy washing your face or like rub your face with a towel real hard or whatever it is you're doing, you will probably rip it out. And I say it to every single person and the amount of people that do not listen and they're back within a day or two is like, why? You want the piercing, but you don't want to have to like follow any of the rules. People just think like, I've got it now. That's all I have to do. Don't have to clean it. Don't have to even pretend it's there. It's just there now. And I look cool. No, you do not look cool because you've come in two days later and you actually look like the biggest idiot on planet Earth. Oh, yuck. Change your damn jewelry. Downsizing uh, is a thing for a reason. You, oh, I hate it, 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 I hate, hate it. I really hate this because like there are so many people who keep their like swell jewelry in for way too long. Or like definitely some people who just like never even change it. I do not know how long you've had it pierced for, but it certainly is not swollen in any way anymore. And you're still playing with this jewelry like it is fun or it looks cool uh, and it's so uncomfortable like why do you want to wear such long jewelry why? why do people do this so she's pulling a jewelry out what are gonna oh <sighs> what that is crazy that like doesn't happen what that is so insane. I am actually shocked because like normally you cannot, you can't squirt water out of them. This is a magical woman. Who is she? <laughs> I want to learn. Rarely can people like uh, the thicker the gauge, obviously, yes, but they only looked like 16 gauge, which is like standard. So what? 